Hey everyone, it's Simplicity, and welcome back to new Put of the Bluestone Legacy. So we are going ahead and confronting a suspect for the next case, and I am kind of excited about it and ready to kind of just, you know, make some progress with what we've been doing with her job. So she's heading on over there in a taxi. Now, the, I don't know why, I don't know who has her car, but apparently somebody does. So, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can confront this suspect. They look like a teenager. Could very well be long, but just a little, kind of a little profile picture looks like a teenager. But I hope you all are doing really well. Happy Monday. Can't believe it's the last Monday of the month already. I feel like that went by so very quickly. So, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can confront the suspect about this case. Um, not right. I'm like starting to lose my voice. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not trying to. I've just kind of filmed quite a bit today that my voice is kind of like, hey, what are you doing? So, I don't know why you decided to come over here. Obviously, if he's inside the building, you're not going to be able to get to him here. Like, what are you thinking here, Amethyst? Okay, so August has finally came out of the building. So, we can go ahead and confront him about whatever possible case we are working on. No, you are not running away. That's not how this works. We are going to confront you. We are going to move on to the next part of this. And we're going to keep on moving. Okay. Come on, Amethyst. Let's go. I feel like this is taking way too long. Let's go. There we go. Finally. So she's now wet from the rain. So I should have probably had... Oh, that's right. We're doing sleepwalking. So we need to go ahead and research sleepwalking at the hospital. Okay, so we just went ahead and finished that. Um, apparently, Colin has consulted with sleepwalking people before, so we're going to go ahead and report our findings to him. And our job experience is going up very quickly, but we're going to go ahead and see Colin. We're going to be like, hey, just so you know, the cause of your bruised toes is because you're sleepwalking, and the doctors had already kind of told you about this. All right, so here we are. So we're going to go ahead and... Do this. Alright, there we go. Wasn't surprised about here go kicking the gnomes. Alright, so we're gonna head home. Um we're about halfway there for this level already. It is a full moon tonight, but it's also Melon's birthday. So that was kind of why I wanted to get this case over and done with quite quickly before she ages up on her own. Cause I want pictures and to be able to properly kind of, you know, make this work. So we're gonna let her come home and we're gonna go ahead and snuggle Melon and we can go ahead and play with her and then snuggle her again. So I think the babysitter's finally coming upstairs to actually take care of Melon, but obviously at this point it doesn't matter whenever Amethyst is already home. I don't know why I'm having some weird loading issues, but there we go. I was gonna say my textures aren't loading up properly. But alright, you need to eat something, but otherwise you're okay. You've taken care of yourself greatly today. So we're going to have Amethyst head up here to Melon, take care of her quite quickly. Um, she's honestly kind of in a terrible mood overall, and is going to end up needing some sleep. But obviously I can't put her down for like sleeping or a nap, or we're going to end up missing her birthday. So that's not going to work. She'll have to just go to sleep shortly after she ages up. But let's go ahead and make sure that she's good to go, taken care of, in as good of a possible mood as we can get. Um, I actually... I was going to say, we could possibly put her down in the crib for a little bit. But we'll have to see how long it takes for this. We're not playing dominoes. Honestly, I would probably send him to a lounge. Uh, right. Let's just speed this up a tiny bit, because I'm very, I just, I want to know what Melon looks like so bad, and who's, like, who she looks most similar to, because I feel like no matter what, who went pee in the house? Um, not you. Will you? Okay, so it's not you, because you haven't peed. So I'm going to say that it was too long ago that we probably missed it when it came to Charlie, but I don't need to scold either of the dogs. So at least that's okay. It looks like the dog food is full. But while we're in the kitchen, let's go ahead and buy a birthday cake. 
here quite quickly. So we can go ahead and get ready to age up Melon. Um, I think Linda's going to go ahead and go with the random, uh, random regular birthday cake from the base game. There we go. Perfect. So Dill is on his way home, so he is actually going to be here for her birthday. And we're just going to kind of keep taking care of Melon up here as much as we can. We do have a repair person here because our computer broke. So hopefully they are properly, you know, doing things because I have not been watching. So let's go ahead and just give Melon a little bit of a bath here. Okay. I think we're not doing terribly. But that didn't help with her bladder and now she has a dirty diaper right after her bath. I was hoping the bath was going to help and kind of counteract, but I think it might possibly be the diaper that does that. So... If I can click on her, let's go ahead and change her dirty diaper really quickly. At least that's a very really quick thing. I would use the change table, but that might take too long. And we're going to head on downstairs and age up little Melon over here. We'll lower the candles for Melon. Alright, so Melon is having a birthday party. So we're going to go ahead and head on downstairs, get ready for her to age up a little bit finally have a toddler and see who she looks like more. All right, so we have finally made it over here to the birthday cake. So let's go ahead and make sure, actually, you know what? I'm gonna let Dale come over here and serve some nectar because we've had it here anyways. May as well kind of, you know, let him drink a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and hop on down here and take some pictures. At least we can finally see her. If you've been watching my Supernatural series, when we went to age up Lilith, you couldn't see her because of Freya's hair. And it looks like Troy is right here as well. Don't love this hair on him, but it's not the worst thing I've seen. So we're just going to wait and see how this... There we go. Look at how cute. So we're going to let her age up. Um, did you end up getting the nectar? Does not look like it. So how about we come over here and serve up this nectar for me, please? Because I feel like he would be the type that he would want to drink. And I feel like that's another way to kind of add in, like, hey, Amethyst isn't really the type to drink a party, you know, do any of that. So it doesn't really look good on him if he's drinking much. And I feel like he might be the type to try and like get her to go out to like a lounge or a bar and be like, let's go have a fun night out. But she's obviously not like into that. So we're going to go ahead and just wait. Um, we do need to immediately put Melon back to bed. She is exhausted. And right now she's looking like her dad possibly. Is kind of the vibes that I'm picking up on with her mom's hair color. So let's go ahead and put Melon in her crib whenever you're done going to the bathroom. You are grabbing some cake, which is perfectly fine. Looks like a repair technician decided to also help themselves to some cake. I don't know why they're still here, but they are. But we're going to go ahead and put Melon to bed because she is absolutely exhausted. And then I will let... Amethyst come back down here and grab a piece of cake for herself as well. Doesn't look like Troy seems to want any. Dogs are okay. You're okay other than literally being exhausted. You're also not doing terribly. Okay, so it looks like he put the nectar over on the table. Nobody seemed to help themselves to any as of yet. But I am going to let Daryl go ahead and grab some. So you can come on over here and drink this. He is also a bit of a party animal. So I feel like this would be completely up his alley. Um, I don't want you to wash the dishes just because Amethyst is going to come and eat some anyways. So you can go ahead and grab some nectar. Alright. So I feel like Amethyst would be the type that she's not really going to think anything of it too much. Until it becomes like a regular habit. Um, okay, you're coming to eat some cake. Perfect. Just wanting to make sure that everybody is good to go. We'll go ahead and put the cake away over here. But I feel like, and I also think it's funny how she walks like right outside 
to go and eat. She has no interest in sitting in here with them. She was like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go outside because there's alcohol at you. So she goes outside to do that. Um, You want to take a bubble bath. I do want to lock you this in though for the potty chill. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and clean up. Uh, I guess you can technically do all the dishes on the lot. And boy, this show does go well with food. All right, well, how about you go ahead and have another glass because it doesn't want look like anybody else wants any. And I don't want it to go to waste. So, I don't know. But, and also, I really like that Troy's like helping out and cleaning up. That's really nice. I'm a big fan of that. So we're just going to go ahead and let him keep on drinking. Megan and Artemis broke up. He gave me the exact same prompt. as how this goes well with food. Uh, you're not going to go ahead and be sniffed, but you can go ahead and have your third glass of nectar. You are over here washing the dishes, I'm assuming. Um, you want to be best friends? Okay. His social is really not too bad. But she does want to build up a relationship with him. So how about we come over here and play tug of war for a little bit. Just to kind of get a get a, one of her wants of some sort. And then I might let her go ahead and get some sleep after that. I feel like that'd be a pretty good way for her to end the night. He is down here on his third glass of nectar. Um, our sink apparently broke. But like the repair technician is still right here. So hopefully they do something. And he really seems to think that this nectar goes well with food and then decided to tell me the colors. We have brown, purple, and green. I don't think I have ever seen a nectar in this game that's not purple. Um, so we're going to go ahead and let Charlie eat some food. Amethyst is going to go ahead and head off to bed. And yes, yes, I know it's broken. But it will be fixed. It's okay. He needs to come up here and go to the bathroom. He's getting very close to peeing himself. Uh, also let you take a shower and then you can go ahead and get some sleep as well. But he has now drank four glasses of nectar. So that was just in the span of a few little hours. Alright, so we are back. We are now potty training Melon at five something in the morning. Um, Amethyst was wide awake so I decided, you know what, we'll go ahead and let her get up. She can kind of get things going. And it worked out because Melon ended up being awake anyways. I did go ahead and give her a little bit of a makeover. So, she's very cute. I can't tell who she looks like quite yet. That is one thing I will say. I haven't figured it out yet. But she's just, you know, hanging out up here. Um, everybody is doing decently well by the looks of it. But I'm just going to let you do your thing. Juliet is coming to take care of Melon. And I just realized Melon can't get down the stairs because I haven't replaced them yet. Um, I have the Toddlers Can Use the Stairs mod, but because I haven't replaced the stairs in this house, she technically isn't able to use them. Alright, so I went ahead and replaced the stairs. She should be able to use them now, so she can get up and down the stairs on her own. And we're gonna go ahead and let you come in, grab something to eat. Perfect. So yeah, as you can see, she's now going down the stairs all on her own. So that kind of makes it a little bit more efficient. I just, I don't know, I enjoy it that way. And... Okay, she just like walked right over the top of her kid, but you know, it's fine. So we're going to go ahead and let Amethyst go and grab something to eat. I don't know where Melon just disappeared to, but it looked like she got stuck somewhere. We're going to go ahead and change her into her everyday outfit. And then maybe go ahead and start on teaching her how to talk, I think might be good. You are going ahead and grabbing some food. You are not digging a hole. There is other ways to help with your destruction, but you can go pee. And then we will go ahead and come on inside. And you can come and chew on this little newspaper toy over here. Elena and Craig are apparently fighting. We're going to go ahead and pay the bills. Before I forget to do that, we end up with the Lebo Man. You're cleaning up your dishes, which is perfectly fine. But I feel like we're finally sort of getting somewhere. And I kind of enjoy that they had a kid early on. Alright. And it wasn't like she had just found out that they were pregnant and the relationship went bad. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can start teaching Melon how to talk. I feel like that's a pretty good place 
to start with her skills but there's her cute little outfit i think it's really cute um so she decided to, apparently we are going outside to teach Marin how to talk i don't know why that's one thing i don't understand is why my sims tend to go outside when i know there's enough room in the house but i guess we're going ahead and enjoying the nice weather while we teach you how to talk and kind of sitting in the front garden so we're just going to kind of speed through this here a little bit but there we go so melon knows how to talk i think we're gonna immediately she's not doing too bad on her needs thankfully so i think we're immediately gonna hop into teaching her how to walk we had eight out of 35 of her cases so we're not even a third of the way there all right so we're just gonna let her focus on melon for right now if we don't end up getting her lifetime wish we don't end up getting her lifetime wish but I want her to have time with her family and with her kids. Uh, I guess technically kid. So, I just, I don't know. I feel like she'd want to make sure that she's being a good mom. And making sure that she's well taken care of. And this also helps us out with her being a little bit more independent. Being able to do things and aging up well. So, he has to read a book. So, we're over the halfway point for this skill as well. So, very soon, all we're going to have left is potty training honestly not too bad okay so i think we should be just about to finish her learning how to walk it looks like it's very close there we go perfect so daryl just went ahead and finished work troy also just went ahead and came on home all right so i feel like we're not doing too bad so let's go ahead and come up here we will potty train melon really quick as well i'm sure she probably needs to use the bathroom anyways she is getting very close to having to use the bathroom so that timing works out quite nicely and this should be the last time that she needs to go ahead and be put on the potty to be able to use the potty chair. So we are definitely making some good progress. Juliet just got a promotion to a desk jockey, which is fantastic. Okay, so there we go. So she's now done all three of her skills. So we don't have to worry about that now, which is great. Um, I do really quickly, before anybody moves... I want to go ahead and give her a bottle on the floor, make sure that she's fed, so that I can go ahead and let Amethyst come over here and use the bathroom. And I feel like we need a new maid. I feel like every single time I'm clicking on something, it says clean, and that the maid isn't actually like doing anything. Uh, you are home. How about you come over here and grab something to eat? You are about to use the bathroom. You can also go ahead and come and grab something to eat. Uh, you're not terrible. You do need a little bit of a bath or a diaper change, but otherwise you're okay. And I just went ahead and gave her some toys. So she's going to come over here and play with the dollhouse for a little bit. Just, you know, for something to do. Because if we go the route of the mermaid, there's nothing I can really do to get started on any of the skills early on. But we have 13 days still of amethyst until she's an adult so i don't want to like start overly doing it well amethyst is obviously gonna get mad at Dale for what he's doing but i do feel like we're gonna let him come over here and grab some more nectar out of the nectar rack go ahead and have a couple of drinks uh it looks like juliet's kind of sad for some reason but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and let him have another little, you know, glass of nectar, bottle of nectar, whatever it ends up being, just because, you know, he is a little bit stressed out, so I feel like it would be a good thing for him. You can come up here and give Melon a little bit of a bath. We'll also go ahead and put her in her crib. I need to adjust it so the curtain's not in the crib. All right, so he's just going to go ahead and have a drink. He's going to chill out, see what kind of happens here. Looks like everyone's hanging out in the kitchen, and... He is actually off tomorrow, so it doesn't even matter if he's up late. So, but you can go ahead and immediately grab another glass when you're done. So you're going to go ahead and give her a bath. All nectar tastes the same to me. Well, that's probably because you've only ever had one flavor. That would probably be why it all tastes the same. Um, Charlie came up here to hang out. I don't know who's trying to chat with her. The show does go well with food. That's what you said last night, too. Let's go ahead and let you go ahead and drink another glass. Okay, you're getting tired. You're also kind of getting a little bit tired. I don't know who this man is that's outside. 
Not quite sure why he's there. I've noticed with this lot, though, that we tend to have a lot of, like, random people outside. Uh, you need to go ahead and go to the bathroom, so come out here and do that. And Melon's in bed. You're having another glass of nectar after this. So, he's officially drank two bottles of nectar by himself in the past two days. So, I'm gonna let her come down here and get another investigator case. Honestly, we're not doing too bad with her needs. But I feel like, okay, we can come down here, see if we can find another job. See what we can kind of, you know, get up to. It's still quite early on in the night anyways. So... I think I'm going to let you come up here, use this, and take a shower. And then I think we're going to let him head off to bed. He's been up since very early anyways, and then he just had some drinks. So we're going to let him go ahead and get some sleep. You're down here searching for a case. Alright. And then I think I'm going to let her clean the house up a little bit. Uh, ask about potential suspects to Hector about myth missing mouthwash. Seems to me a therapist should have called. Um, who is this Sim? Why are you here? Hi, John. Why are you here? What is happening? Um, shoe peeping Sim. Okay. Well, that was not what I was expecting. All right, get rid of him, please. Get He's gotta go. All right, that's just gross. Um, it doesn't seem like my clean house mod is currently working, which I have never experienced an issue with that before. So that's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. But I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up right here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you can go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can go ahead and subscribe. It's free. If you are already subscribed and want notifications for when I post, you can go ahead and hit that bell down below. Make sure that your YouTube notifications are turned on. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye lovelies!